Hey, what's up, guys? Thought I would do another one today in light of the fact that number two, oil spill number two, happening in the Gulf of Mexico. Underway and has been since now, oh, late April, around the same time. This is not BP, it's another rig. I don't remember their name, and it doesn't really matter right now. So we got two leaking oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico. They just didn't bother to mention that other one to you. Now, I would like to stop real quick and say worst oil disasters have actually happened. I did not realize previously how bad the Gulf of Mexico oil spill was when the Mexicans did it in 79. It was over 100 billion gallons. We're not quite there yet. However, despite the fact that we're not quite there yet, we're seeing a bunch of sensationalized media all dealing with how horrible this whole event is, right? And so far, I would agree it probably is pretty horrible. And from what news coverage we have been given, which hasn't been much, it looks pretty damn bad. We, the American people, and the people of the world for that matter, do not know how bad the Gulf oil spill really is because no one's giving any answers. And BP apparently doesn't have to speak about it. As well, BP's given control over our National Guard. Well, at least the Coast Guard. But now that the National Guard has arrived into the region, who knows? And why the National Guard is in the region now, I couldn't tell you that much either unless Steve Quayle and Greg Evanson and the real extremists are actually getting it right. And if there is actually about to be such a thing as Operation Deadly Tide, in which everybody within approximately 200 miles of the Gulf of Mexico is going to be swept out by the military as it's declared an uninhabitable zone due to leaking deadly gases. Now, I've not seen any official reports from anything that has not been actually out on the water, people getting sick or potentially dying. But who knows? And there's been a huge hype. And there was a giant hype yesterday that, that everything's actually happening out there. There's National Guard with weapons. Um, they might be faking the oil spill, etc., etc. I would like to start with one good point. If they're faking the oil spill, there's a lot of countries in the world that do not like the United States that would see it on satellite and probably blow the whistle pretty hard. Another report that I've been hearing is that the National Guard is down there in up-armored Humvees, and yes, that's true. Video has come out today. I'll put the link up. It is true, however, National Guard's down there in armored Humvees. It is totally false from everything I've seen that they have weapons mounted on top of them. And I will assure you, if you see any military cruising around civilian populace with a weapon mounted on top of the vehicle, Something has gone seriously wrong, because it's not legal unless it's a war zone. The military controls weapons, ammo, and all this very, very closely, even in places like Afghanistan and Iraq. So if you see soldiers anywhere within the United States out on civilian roads with mounted weapons, get pictures of it, send it to whoever, and make sure it goes public, because that would mean that it's a war zone. If you do not have any evidence, and I mean hardcore evidence of it, do not run around telling everybody that it is the case. Because it is something to get very concerned over immediately if it becomes true. On June 5th, just a few days ago now, another spiral was seen in the sky over Australia. So that would make the Chinese spiral, I think in 2007, 2008, has been seen. The Norway Blue Spiral, which is the biggest example of one of these things. And now we've got one over Australia. There's no telling if others are coming up, but these are the, the three that have been videotaped, have been made public, and that the news has debunked by calling them crashed missiles. <coughs> In the case of uh, the one over Australia, Australia, it wasn't even a crash missile. It was just a rocket. Of course, if you watch Lucas Brave New Books, his deal on Nibiru, Nemesis, the Destroyer Star, etc., etc., all these spirals are warnings of imminent rising water. They get to a high place because the water's about to rise. I don't know what the future holds for us here. I really don't. But as we march forward into it, we will find out. But I can tell you one thing the WebBot report has been very, very accurate. The WebBot report from this April claimed there would be a disaster of nuclear proportions happening sometime around May. 
They claim now that they got the language wrong. The oil spill was what they were actually talking about, but they got caught up in the hype. They predicted shortly after this disaster there would be an Israel mistake, which seems to have taken place as Israel took the bait that Turkey sent them. Because Turkey sent those guys down as bait. So that Israel would jump all over them and they could prove to the whole world what a bunch of douchebags they are. And mission accomplished Turkey. Good job. And so to increase all the tension over in that part of the world, Russia is now going to uh, put up an embargo against Israel. They're no longer going to export them oil or gas. Um, Turkey's been talking about sending uh, naval relief, naval vessels along with relief vessels to ensure safe passage to Gaza. The Gazans refused the Irish Marie Corrie after Israel took possession of it because I suppose it's not good enough once Israel gets a hold of it. Can't need the relief supplies that bad if you're turning it down. And what else? What else? That's right, Iran's now offering to uh, send some supplies down to uh, Gaza. Maybe a naval escort for whoever needs it. And in the midst of all of this, we keep hearing lies about our economy is going to recover. It's a slow recovery. The, the stocks are dropping for ridiculous reasons like, well, people take their investments out on the weekend or, oh, well, it's because of the oil. It has nothing to do with the fact that there's no money left, that the whole world's economy is t entirely screwed. And whether it falls tomorrow or three years from now, it's going to fall. And to get back to that WebBot report, the WebBot report said that we will see the beginnings of the food crisis June 21st, 13 days. Generally speaking, when they make a prediction, they're not too terribly specific because uh, they get it wrong quite often. But they were very specific in saying June 21st, the food crisis will be announced on mainstream media and on alternative media. And people, your government knew about it. I'd like to call them idiots. I'd like to call them incompetent, but the fact of the matter is they are not idiots and they are not incompetent. They're covering everything up they can, they're controlling everything that they can, and they know exactly what they're doing. And when it starts to get this bad, you better start to wonder, should I just go along? Should I just do what they tell me? Are they really trying to take care of me? Are they really? And I'm sorry, but the answer is hell no. I made a video about taxes. They aren't using your tax money for you. They aren't using it for you. They blew up two of our own buildings. They, I'm sorry, four of our own buildings on 9-11. They blamed an invisible ghost. They took us to two illegal wars. They, uh, they're using our troops to dominate other parts of the world under the guise of freedom and liberty. They're expanding it with every single day. We've now got reports of Yemen. Pakistan has been frequent as we kill multiple, multiple people to get a few extremists here and there. We never know for sure if we're getting them or not. You sure can't believe the media reports that you're getting out of that region of the world. And it has gotten so extreme, which is the most infuriating part to me that in Afghanistan now, we are openly paying the Taliban lots of money. And now we're helping them grow opium. We're not just overlooking that they grow opium because that's a resource we don't want to shit us. We're helping them grow that goddamn shit. While we, the United States, claim to be in a war on drugs. Just let all that soak in for a second. If you're willing to say that that's okay with you or that you can't do anything about it, then go the hell away. Your life and your destiny will be chosen by someone that is not you. For all the rest of you out there that are getting sick of it, let me tell you the first thing it's the most outrageous, it's the one you're not going to like. But if you're still paying your taxes, you're paying into all of this shit. You're paying money for a service that is not provided. You aren't getting insurance out of it. You aren't getting safety out of it. You are not getting security or health out of it. You are not getting a house. You are not getting interest. You are getting absolutely nothing. Nothing and nothing. Let that soak in for a minute.